Ik spreek uh, hier op het ABN Omro World Tennis Tournament met Martin Ford. Hij heeft een boek geschreven, Rise of the Robots. Dat gaat over inderdaad het heftige automatiseren waar we de komende tijd, uh, uh, ja, wat we de komende tijd te zien krijgen. En de vraag is, gaat dat echt banen schelen? Martin Ford, uh, thank you for having us. Um, on the technology, what is changing right now in the technology um, in, in, let's say, factories or, or, or broader than that? Well, the thing is that technology has always been subject to a kind of an acceleration. So this has been going on for a long time, but when you keep doubling and doubling the power of computers, eventually you get to the point where things are moving really fast. Mm -hmm. And that's where we are now. And so we're beginning to see a lot of breakthroughs in robotics and especially in artificial intelligence and machine learning that I think are really bringing us finally to the point where this is going to have a big impact. And the reason is that machines and smart software are getting to the point where they begin to encroach on what people are capable of in a lot of areas. Do you have any uh, examples of that? Well, sure, you can, you can look at journalism, for example. There are smart software systems that are writing news stories independently. They can look at data and then turn that into a story that many people can read and, and not know that, that a machine wrote that. Mm -hmm. um, and you see it in other areas, in, in the fields of law, in many white-collar type areas. Uh, there are you know, soon going to be robots that make hamburgers in fast food restaurants, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, there are going to be self-driving cars, of course. So, you know, it, it's a really across the board in many, many different areas and occupations. Yeah. Now, the, the thing is, when you talk to people about your book, everybody says, well, yeah, that's, that's a problem, but not for me. My job is so creative, it won't affect me. Right, I think we all tend to, to overestimate the extent to which our job is creative or to which um, it, it's a uniquely human type type job where the machines won't come and get us. But of course, many people have thought that in the past and they've ended up uh, you know, losing their positions. So uh, the, the basic message is that you know, not all jobs are threatened, certainly, but a large percentage of them are. And the, and the reality is if you do something that's relatively routine and predictable, then there's a, a pretty good chance that eventually, maybe after 10 years or more, uh, machines and computers are going to get to the point where they're able to do a lot of that. Right. Now people say, um, let's educate these people, because then, if they're ed educated, then they'll find a job. Is that true? Well, it's, it's always been true. I mean, that's the only solution that we've ever had to the impact of technology. I mean, the, the traditional idea is you, maybe you lose your unskilled job in a factory, we send you back to school and then you can move up that skills ladder. The problem now is that clearly uh, technology is becoming is beginning to come after those more skilled jobs as well. So we see a lot of people that have university degrees, in fact maybe even more than that, maybe even graduate degrees, who are still doing things that are susceptible to this.